Hi, my name is Lena Drapus and I am in Mr. Stroop's 8th grade cyber purpose class. This year for my scenario, I chose to do it on alternative medicine. I hope you enjoy. Alternative Medicine by Lena Drapus. What is alternative medicine? Alternative medicine is a term that can be used to describe medical treatments that differ from Western medicine. Alternative medicine methods focus on stimulating the body's ability to heal itself using various techniques. Alternative medicine is also something that can be referred to as Eastern medicine or complementary medicine. Alternative medicine is something that has been practiced for many centuries all around the world. Methods. Alternative medicine methods can be broken down into six general categories. These categories are traditional alternative medicine, body slash touch, herbal, external energy, mind, and senses. Traditional alternative medicine is the group of practices that is most commonly heard of and accepted as successful in today's society. Body slash touch healing is when manual manipulation is used on the body to improve illness. Herbal approaches can be used to prevent various illnesses and diseases by trying to have a balanced nutritional well-being. Using external energy therapies is when energy from another source is used to impact someone's health. Mind therapies include things such as meditation. It is proven by various medical studies that when you have a stronger mental slash emotional health, you heal better and faster. Many people also believe that using your five senses, hearing, smell, sight, touch, and taste, can benefit your health by using these senses in various activities such as art or music. Acupuncture. Acupuncture falls under the category of traditional alternative medicine. It's also something that you've probably heard of before or possibly experienced. During an acupuncture session, many small, thin needles are inserted by a practitioner into your skin, where the needles are inserted is very strategic as well as specific. Depending on what you as an individual need improved or fixed affects the placement of the needles. There are also various maps available showing various places to stick the needles depending on what is bothering you. Reiki. Reiki is a form of alternative medicine that can be categorized under the external energy method. Reiki is a Japanese form of alternative medicine. The term Reiki comes from the Japanese words rei and ki. Rei means universal and ki means a vital life force energy that flows through all living things. In a Reiki session, energy goes through the practitioner's hands into the patient. The practitioner places their hands above an area of the patient's body and performs a series of hand positions. Reiki can be used on a person regardless if they have an illness or not. It will always be beneficial. Essential oils. Essential oils are extracted aromatic compounds found in leaves, flowers, bark, roots, stems, and seeds. Popularity of essential oils is growing rapidly as they are becoming the number one choice as the natural way to keep yourself healthy. There are so many uses of essential oils. They can be used to improve your overall health and your mood. They also can be used for cooking and cleaning. Essential oils are categorized into eight general classifications. These categories are citrus, florals, spices, herbs, roots, leaves, woods, and raisins. Each of these categories include different oils and are used to benefit different things. In my PowerPoint, I discussed how there are eight main classifications of essential oils. Now I'm going to go a little more in-depth into what each of the categories are. So first off, there's citrus. Citrus oils are uplifting and detoxifying. They have properties that are energizing as well as antimicrobial. So I have some lemon oil right here. Other oils that fall under the citrus category are oils such as lime or grapefruit. With the lemon oil, there was a study done earlier in the, in the year by the NIH, and it proved that consuming lemon oil can actually stop COVID from entering into your cells. The next category of oils are floral oils. Now, floral oils are very calming and harmonizing. Their top properties are that they can be used for relaxation as well as antispasmodics. So I have lavender oil here. Lavender oil is something that can be used to decrease anxiety. And something else that's interesting about lavender oil is that if you have like some kind of bug bite from the summer, you can put lavender oil on it and it is a natural way to heal it. Spice oils are next. Now spice oils are very warming and protecting. Their top properties are that they're, they are anti-infectious as well as anti-parasitic. Now this is fennel oil. Fennel oil can be very beneficial to you if you have a GI issue such as acid reflux. Next is herb oils. 
Now, herb oils are very cleansing and activating. Some of their top properties include that they are detoxifiers as well as antibacterial. Now, this is peppermint oil. Peppermint oil is an herb oil. And something that peppermint oil can do is when if you apply it to behind your ears and your temples, it can help with headaches as well as motion sickness if you were on a plane or a boat. Now we have root oils. Now root oils are very centering and calming. Their top properties are that they are very grounding and restorative. My family personally does not own any root oils, but spikenard is one of them, and it's very effective when used for pink eye and or rashes. Next is leaf oils. Now leaf oils are invigorating and soothing. Some of their top properties are that they are antiseptic and analgesic. This is eucalyptus oil, and um, something that's cool about eucalyptus oil is that when it's diffused, it can help to relieve sinus pressure. Next are wood oils. Now, wood oils are very grounding and renewing. They're very relaxing as well as regenerative. So this is cypress oil. It's a wood oil. Something that this really helps with, it can help with bruising as well as blood circulation. The last main classification of essential oils are the resins. Now, resins are very restoring and strengthening. They can be used for pain relief, and they're also very anti-inflammatory. Now, this is copaiba oil, and I'm a dancer. I use this all the time when something hurts, basically, <laughs> and it really does work. Thank you for watching my scenario on alternative medicine.